We're back here at home again with head coach Patrick Baker after what's turned out to be a weekend sweep, defeating Rice today by a score of three to two. Coach, uh, I know you guys have talked about every game's sort of equal on the conference schedule. You know, three points for a win, one point for a tie. But you would look forward to this weekend. It, you know, to come away with two wins is huge. Yeah, we mentioned it Friday night. It's very hard. This is the toughest in their current forms and with history. It's the toughest one-two punch weekend. Um, that you have, and they are so different in styles and in tendencies that um, you, um, you know, like we said, many people don't get a point or a win, and so to get, you know, two hard-fought victories and clear six points, um, just couldn't be prouder. Uh, today was, we had a great start, you know, off outside of G's injury, off to a, a two-nothing start, could have had more. Um, gave you know, gave up a goal early in the second half. They changed their system. They had the wind at their back. Um, it was pretty open. You know, they're willing to go for it, which is uh, admirable. And uh, you know, Brian did a good job of making those adjustments. And and then we found the goal to go up three-one. You know, P has two goals and an assist. Remarkable. Happy for her. Um, and then just at the end, you know, another ball in the box, sun's in her eyes, can't really see it, drops onto her hand, PK. So thank God we've gotten the third one, you know, and 3-2, and we closed off the, you know, I don't think they really got a clean look after that, and we did a pretty decent job with clock management. So just couldn't be happier, you know, we came, those guys came in at, North Texas was 60, and uh, Rice was 63, I think, in the RPI, and uh, we were sitting at 32 coming into the weekend. So. To pick up two pretty significant wins, not only in conference but in region, and you know, and now you're talking about a real special season. You go to 13-3 and one, and you've got one game left, and um, just just proud of how we gutted it out. You know, it was hot for both teams, and their personality players showed up, and our personality players showed up, and um, just thank God the whistle finally came when it did, and we just happened to have one more on the afternoon than they did. Um, you've often mentioned, you know, controlling what you can control. You know, this weekend you beat North Texas, you leapfrog them in the standings. You beat Rice, you move ahead of them, and then Charlotte, a result comes out that they've gotten beat. So you're in first place now with with a match to go. So it's yeah, in the driver's seat. Yeah, and um, you know, you, that's why you got to play them. That's why you got to play all ten games, and then see where you stand. You know, it's nice to it's nice to be in the upper half. It's nice to be. You know, close. I don't know if we've ever been in the actual first place spot, but um, you know, th there's just a fine line in this conference. And if you can consistently win or start to stack some wins, you're you're gonna you're gonna do okay. And um, that's what our girls have managed. Um, I honestly believe if we, you know, if we hadn't played on turf, Louisiana Tech, I think it'd been a different game. We just. You know, just thank God we're not playing on turf next Friday or we're not playing on Astro turf when we go to the Conference USA tournament. So, and don't get me wrong, they deserved it on the day. I just think it would have been a different game, right? So, um, but, you know, when we were there, um, you yeah, know, there was a lot of mopey faces. And um, I told them just too much soccer left. And even coming into this weekend, I, I was just like, if, if, if we can manage these two, you just never know what's going to happen. And, we did manage these two, and we got a little bit of luck, and uh, now we got to go and, and and finish it off. And um, you know, to think that last year we were eight one and one, and we tied it, and this year we potentially could be eight one and one and win it, uh, shows a good level of consistency in our conference in a regular season standpoint. And you know, to protect home field advantage one more time would be would be pretty great. And no matter the level of opponent which you have coming up, you know, it's a rivalry game. It's senior night. There's a lot that goes in. You know, in addition to the game itself, and yeah. you have to control all of that and, and hopefully come out with the win. Well, you're you're right, and no matter how many seniors you have, it's always pretty emotional, and you know you're trying to thank them for their years of service, and we're pretty fortunate that um, we have a number of players that have given us four years of their life, um, and this is a class that came to FAU when a lot of other young ladies wouldn't, and uh, the one thing that I promised them when they were juniors in high school in 2014 was they were going to come here and they could tell people they were going to be a part of a winning program and then of course in 2015 uh, we managed to have that winning season 
and then they all showed up in 2016 and helped really change the complexion of the program. And that's it's just been monumental. You know, the first year they played Charlotte in the championship game, and then we kind of, you know, had a different type of a sophomore year. I wouldn't call it the sophomore jinx, but it was just a lot of things that year. And you know, and then last year to to really start to make a move and win the regular season championship, and then this year to possibly do it again. And you know, there's just not too many there's not too many collection of classes and young ladies that can come together and really affect change. But they're good people. They're great students. They're they're pretty darn good soccer players and um, just happy they chose FAU when they did and they've they've changed the landscape of our program forever. Well congrats on today's win and the weekend and uh, we'll talk to you again on Friday. Thanks sir.